Hello everyone, it's Jen from Old Tinker Studio and today I'm going to teach you how to make some simple game buttons in Adobe Illustrator. So let's first create a new document and we're going to make it 900 pixels wide and 600 pixels high. Using the rectangle tool, go ahead and make a square that is 200 pixels in height and width. Now we want to go ahead and make a second right rectangle. So again, using your rectangle tool, go ahead and make a, rect a square that is 225 pixels in height and width. Hold down your shift key. And when you see a double headed arrow at one of the corners of this new square, rotate it by 45 degrees. Then place this second square onto the first square. Make sure that they are centered. Go ahead and select both squares and open up your Pathfinder tool. If you don't have it in your icons over on the side, just go to Window, Pathfinder. And we want to choose Intersect, which is the third icon under the Shape Modes. Then go ahead and center the shape on the artboard. Make sure you have a line to artboard checked and horizontal and vertical alignment. Now we're going to go ahead and fill this new shape with a color. So make sure that you have it chosen. And double click on your fill color. And I'm going to fill mine with 7F8C8D, which is just a really pale gray. And we're going to change the border color to 586060. And we're going to change the stroke weight to 5 points. Now go ahead and copy the shape and paste it in front. You can just simply make sure that you have it chosen. Control C, Control F. Then we want this copied shape to be 150 pixels. So you can open up Transform. Changes to 150 pixels. Then we're going to go ahead and fill this new shape with a gradient. Okay, make sure that you have your fill selected and click on your gradient tool. Again, if you don't see this, just go to Window, Gradient. Click once on the gradient to activate it. We want to change our angle to negative 90. Double click on your black color stop and we're going to make this a dark gray which is RGB 51, 51, 51 should be the third one over in your swatches. Then double click on the white stop and we're going to make this a lighter gray and we're going to make this RGB 128, 128, 128. Okay, and that will just give us a nice simple gradient. Go ahead and make sure your inner shape is selected. 
and we're going to give it an inner glow. So go to Effect, Stylize, Inner Glow. Make sure you have Preview on. We're going to change the color to 313A3A. A. Leave the mode as screen, the opacity at 75%. Change the blur to 10 pixels and make sure that you have edge selected and click OK. Now choose the star tool which is under your rectangle tool. Click once on the artboard. Keep radius 1 at 25 pixels, radius 2 at 50 pixels, and make your points 3. And click OK. And we want to make this triangle 74, pi 74 pixels wide and 86 pixels high. And then you're going to rotate the triangle so the top part, the pointy part, is pointing to the right. Again, if you hold down your shift key, you can rotate at 45 degree angles. Fill the shape with a gradient. So click on your gradient tool. And go ahead and make sure you're on your fill. Click on the gradient. Make sure it's linear. And we're going to set the gradient to negative 180 degrees. This way the black will be on the left. Double click on the black color stop and we're going to make this the RGB of 179, 179, 179. Click on the white or very light gray color stop and we're going to go ahead and make this RGB of 242, 242, 242. And go ahead and center this triangle in the center of the middle inner shape here. Then we're going to add a drop shadow to the triangle. So go ahead and go to Effect, Stylize, Drop Shadow. And we're going to leave the mode as Multiply. Change the opacity to 50%. And leave the X and Y offsets set at 7 and the blur set at 5. And leave the color at black and hit the preview button you can see the preview and then click OK. Okay now what we want to do is go ahead and select the inner and the outer shapes here. Make sure not to grab the triangle. And we're going to want to copy these and move them to the left. So hold down your left mouse button Hold down your Alt and Shift keys and move the shape to the left. Now go ahead and use your rectangle tool. And you're going to want to make a rectangle that is 27 pixels in width and 86 pixels in height. Again, we're going to fill this with a gradient. So click on your gradient tool. Make sure this is on your fill. Set the gradient to negative 90 degrees. That way the darkest portion will be on the bottom. Click on the right color stop. And we're going to go ahead and make this the 179, 179, 179 RGB again. 
click on the left color stop and make sure that that is set to RGB of 242, 242, 242. And we're going to add a drop shadow to this rectangle. Let's go to Effect, Stylize, Drop Shadow. Mode is Multiply, Opacity 50%, X and Y offsets are 7, Pixel is Blur is 5, and we're going to leave the color as black, and click OK. Now go ahead and make a copy of this rectangle. Hold down your left mouse button, your Alt and Shift keys, and move it to the right. Then go ahead and select both of these rectangles and set them on this newest shape that we made on the left. And there's our second button. Now go ahead and again select the original shape. And we want to copy this and move it to the right. Grab your rectangle tool and we want to make a rectangle that is 86 pixels in height and width. Go ahead and click on the gradient tool. Make sure that your rotation is set to negative 90 degrees and we're going to use the same colors that we did on the pause button. So let's go ahead and add a drop shadow. Go to Effect, Stylize, Drop Shadow. Mode is Multiply, Opacity is 50%, X and Y offsets are 7. Your blur is 5 pixels and we're going to leave the color as black. And click OK. And then go ahead and center this square on the rightmost button. And there you have our three buttons that can be used for your game or any other purpose. I hope you found this useful. Have a good day.